Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of With the Light Butter. Okay, so today's recipe, y'all, we're gonna make some biscuits. Yes, we're gonna make some butter swim biscuits. Now these kind of put you in the mind of like fast food biscuits. So like they're good like by themselves, or you can do like some syrup or some jelly, or you can make something special like, you know, some bacon, egg, and cheese biscuits, something like that. So let me go ahead and show y'all how to do this recipe. Let's go ahead and get into it so I can show y'all how it's done. Let's go. So we need all-purpose flour. We need some buttermilk, cold, sugar, some shortening. We also need salt. We need baking powder. And we need unsalted butter. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and add our flour into our large bowl. And then you want to go ahead and add your sugar, your baking powder, and your salt into your bowl as well. You wanna get all that in there and then wanna go ahead and whisk it together once we have everything added to the bowl. All right, and so you just wanna whisk it until everything is fully incorporated. So just a few quick seconds. And then now we're gonna go ahead and add our shortening in here. So I just went ahead with my, um, my rubber spatula and I just broke up the shortening a little bit so it wasn't going in here in like big chunks. And I'm breaking it up a little bit, but I went ahead and grabbed my pastry cutter because it's just easier to go ahead and cut the shortening into the butter with that. If you don't have one, you can um, check the link in my description box and you can get one from my Amazon store or you can also just use a fork. Okay, so after you have your shortening in there and it's in small little crumbles, like you can barely see it here, we want to go ahead and add our buttermilk into the mix. So I'm kind of stirring a little bit and then I'm going to just start folding it like around each other until everything is incorporated. And if you have like some crumbs, like you'll see as we go, then you just want to get your crumbs and you want to kind of press them into your mix and just until, um, keep going until everything is combined. So you don't want to just like keep mixing and mixing and mixing. You don't want to get it smooth or anything like that. Just until it's combined, kind of like about here. And then everything is ready to go so we can go ahead and add it to our pan. And so before that, we want to go ahead and take our butter and we want to melt that into the microwave. So I'm just going to cut this into three blocks just so it melts um, a little faster to be. It melts a little faster when it's cut down. And then it'll fit in this bowl just nicely. And you want to um, melt that for about 45 seconds. Okay, and so after your butter is nice and melted, you want to put it into your pan. You need about an 8 by 8 inch pan. And then we're going to go ahead and lay our dough into the butter mixture. Now, I went ahead and put the uh, dough in here and then just start pressing it. And you keep pressing it until it goes into your corners of your pan. And you can try to get it as square as possible, but it don't have to be just flat as possible at the top. Just good enough. Okay, now after that, we're going to go ahead and pre-cut our dough into nine squares. So you do, do two lines one way and then two lines the other way so they are nice and divided for when they get done. And we have nine individual biscuits. And we're going to place these in the oven and we're going to bake them for about 20 minutes or until golden brown on 450 degrees. Okay, here they are when they come out of the oven. We didn't cover them with foil or anything. You just want to place them in the oven and I'll get them nice and baked. So I left them on the cooling rack for a few minutes so they could cool. And then, of course, I'm going to show you all a piece of biscuit. You know what I mean? It's not that hard to cut after they've been baked. They've been cooling a little bit, but they're still a little warm. And I'm going to show you this, um, this biscuit right here. Now, they're all nice and buttery, and they have shortening and everything in them. But, of course, you know, if you want to split them in half, you want to add some more butter, or if you want to butter the tops when they come out of the oven, that's delicious as well. Okay, y'all, time for the taste test. So here is our biscuit. Now I'm going to and cut mine in half. Yeah, because that thing is nice and thick. So let's go. Now you see how it's got a little, ooh, that steam coming from there. It's got a little flexibility to it. But it comes with how this breaks apart. I love that. That's good. I need some syrup on that, but it's definitely good. I always like, you know, when you're trying new food, you gotta taste it like I did, like it is first. Before you put anything on it, you gotta get a good taste. 
just how it is. If it's good basic, once you add some special touches to it, syrup or whatever, then you know it's really going to be right there where you need it to be. So, go ahead and get the recipe in the description box below. Make sure you like, subscribe if you haven't already. Don't be stingy. Make sure you share, and we'll catch y'all next time. Bye.